another edition of the George Mann's Coins YouTube channel videos. Um, I'm here today with George Mann's. First off, thank you everybody who has chosen to subscribe and watches the videos. If you haven't subscribed, it's the red button right below the video. Uh, we encourage everybody to subscribe and send us questions that you have about any kind of collecting with either coin, military, paper, um, and we'll try and answer them in future episodes. Um, today, we have the Governor General medals, and you can see that we have a selection of about six different medals in front of us. Um, very careful instructions on how to touch them, we'll get into, but how far do these these go back, the Governor General medals, George? Well, the first uh, Governor General of Canada medals uh, were issued in 1873. And they keep, they've kept that up to date, they keep issuing them with every Governor General? Yes, yes. Okay, and then I guess as they, as they go, the further back they go, the more valuable they might be. Usually, on. but it, it all depends on the name, you know. Um, somebody like Lawrence Stanley, Stanley Cup, is going to be, more, you know, probably more collectible because hockey, people who like hockey will collect that one, so. So name value adds to the yeah. collectability of it. And we were talking, and you have six of them here, which yeah. are the ones that we have with us today? Well, I'm, I'm going to, I've got um, six um, of four different different governor generals and two of them are in two different medals. Um, these are issued in bronze, um, silver and gold and unfortunately I don't own, own any gold ones but I do own some silver and bronze ones and these are some of my favorites um, and these are uh, names that most people um, will have heard of in their lives. Um, the first one is the Marquis of Lorne um, he was Governor General from 1883 until 1888, um, and this is a silver medal. Um, an another, and Lansdowne Park in Toronto is named after him. So in Ottawa. In Ottawa, sorry, is named after him. Um, then uh, we have um, Lord Stanley of Preston, who was Governor General from 1888 until 1893. This is a bronze medal. And this is a one of his uh, silver medals. Um, he gave a cup uh, to the um, the hockey world at that time, which were not professionals; they were amateurs. And uh, today we celebrate it as the Stanley Cup, and and uh, it, it goes to the the best NHL team. And the next one that I like is. Um, uh, Earl Grey, who was uh, Governor General from 1904 until 1911. Um, here's one in, in bronze and here's one in silver. Um, I like um, these medals because I like football and, you know, he, he gave a cup to, uh, called the Grey Cup and, you know, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have only won it four times, but all the other teams have, have uh, won it more times than that. And, and the, the, the stories that are behind the namesake cups of both these gentlemen are, mm -hmm. are legendary to say the least. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember the ones at the Grey Cup up until a decade or so ago used to travel around in a hockey bag mm -hmm. because that was just the way that it was looked after by the Hockey Hall of Fame. And you have some, and then the and, final. And the, and the last one is the, the Duke and Duchess of Connacht. The Duke was the uh, Governor General. He was the third eldest son of Queen Victoria and was the Governor General of Canada from 1911 until 1916 when uh, Germ uh, when uh, Britain and Canada and, and the Commonwealth um, went to war with uh, Germany during World War I. He gave uh, half a million dollars of his own money uh, for the war effort. And a half a million dollars more than a hundred years ago was a tremendous amount of money. Um, and his daughter is uh, Princess Patricia, and, and she, uh, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry is named after um, her, and the Regina Pats are named after after her. And they're still one of the most celebrated and honored mm -hmm. infantry divisions in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're now headquartered out of Winnipeg, if I'm not I mistaken. So. They've they've migrated east, as it were. Right. So, and there's a specific handling when it comes to the, well, the medals. You, any medals or coins, anything. If you're going to pick it up, you know, if you can, don't pick it up. But if you have to, pick it up by the edges, and you know, uh, be very careful with it, and don't drop it because 
particular, you know, if they drop on something hard, they will get damaged and get scratched. And from my layman's knowledge, I got to say that you know the touching of the face of it, just the the acids from your fingers yes. or from your skins will damage it, the, yeah. the 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 protective coatings on it. Is there anything else we should know no, about the metals? There's a there's a good book by uh, Freeman Clary on on the metals of the Governor Generals of Canada, and uh, I urge people to buy it. And you know, uh, I collect them. I don't collect them all because some of them I don't really care about. Um, uh, so I, I generally um, collect things that are before World War II when it comes to Governor General of Canada medals. Um, by the way, um, if I were to collect a, a modern one, I would probably um, collect it, um, Raymond Massey, um, who was the first Canadian-born Governor General. Uh, who became Governor General in 1952 and since then every uh, Governor General of Canada has been Canadian rather than British. No relation to me either. No, so, unfortunately. Not that I know of, so <laughs> we haven't gone back that far in the lineage, but yeah, no, it's, they're great. To, and when we do some of the, we'll show some of the close-ups of these, they, they look amazing and I guess this is as close as we'll get to the gold one on the cover of the book. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, George. Thank you, Terry.